Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. I hope you're all having a great day. This painting was done in Art Rage 6. I decided to use the dry clump brush. Uh, not used it before, so an interesting brush to use. It's an oil brush. I filmed this in real time so you can get to see my uh, proper thought processes as I was moving through the painting and see all the detail of the painting. But it does mean that the videos are a little bit longer than the normal 10 minutes. So I have a question for you. Are you okay with that? Do you, is it okay to have these videos running 25, 30 minutes, but with way more information in them than the shorter 10 minute videos? If you could drop a, a comment in the comments below, that would help me out a lot to see um, where I need to go in the future past comments have said you really like this format so hopefully you'll put a comment in and uh, if you like it give us a thumbs up much appreciated so um let's see how i got on with this clump brush so this is the photo that i am going to use uh for my painting this is going to be the source photo but I want to change a few things. First of all, I want to get rid of all of this clutter on the right hand side. So I'm going to go to the crop tool. I'm in Affinity Photo, by the way. So I'm just going to um, cut that. So we've got a kind of a square um, canvas here. These people are walking out of my scene and I kind of don't want that. So I'm just going to choose the rectangle tool select them copy oh, have i got the late have i got the layer let me make sure i've got the layer selected copy that and paste and then i'm just going to use the arrow tool and just quickly flip them around like that put them there so now they're uh, in the direction I want. I'm going to choose the clone tool. Go back to the bottom layer. Let's deselect everything. Ah, I go. Now I've got to be on this layer, unfortunately. Just, oops. Probably, yeah, that'll do. Just to give me an idea, and what I'm going to do now, I'll just select the eraser and go back to that top layer. I don't really need to do this, but it's just sort of. This was a vintage fair I went to, and then I'm going to crop this a little bit more just to chop them, them off there. So now you can see they're actually uh, moving in the picture or walking into it, I should say. I can just bring them across a little bit more like that. And I'm going to want them behind the basket, obviously. There we go. Just tidy that up. I'm being uber fussy here, really. That's it. So that is now ready for me to paint. So I've like used Affinity Photo to compose a painting. I need to export this now. So I am ready to go and I'm going to pop over to ArtRage. So here we are in ArtRage and you can see I've got a canvas size of 23 inch by 16 inch at 300 dots per inch and I'm using I've set it up with a rough canvas so I'm clicking on OK to start that up there we go let's import the reference image so um, let's start painting I'm kind of I guess I'm going to do this in oils so um, I think I'm just going to start with the roller brush, I haven't done this technique for a, a little while. So I'm just gonna pick a color 
and I'm going to go with a blue. Let's get a big, big, um, big, big roller. Well, that's the, that can't be the roller, surely. Now I've got the roller. That's better. Uh, I use the shift key and the square bracket to um, change the size of my brush really quickly. And I'm just picking kind of local colors. I could I could try some of these other um, brushes, I suppose. I just want to see what I'm just doing this to see what it looks like, really. Uh, let's go a bit more blue. This is the dry roller. Oh, that's a nice, interesting texture. So it kind of scrapes it over the canvas. Oh, should I do it with that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, just sort of get in this dry canvas. That's kind of like ruining color on, on a, a canvas with a rag. So I'm, I quite like that. I'm picking the colors using the Alt key on the keyboard and then just touching the screen. That's made for a more interesting um, effect. So that is the dry roller I'm using there. I've never used that before and uh, I quite like it. I like what it's done to that. Awesome. Right now, painting. So I'm choosing, I'm just working with the regular oil brushes at the minute. I've never used things like dry clumps or dry varnished. Um, I might try those a little bit later oh well, i'm just i'm tempted i'm tempted to see what we get Let's put i need to zoom in a bit to see what i'm doing hmm Just moving the uh, assets up a bit, so uh, or the toolbox, so I can see the the settings. <sighs> that doesn't seem to do. Now this could be more useful. I like th now that's that's better. That oh, this one, the the first one, the dry varnish just looks like thick oils with without the, the thick. I might. I might start painting with the dry clumps. Let's see. Just because I haven't used it before. And I do like to mess about with new brushes and see what we get. So I'm just undoing all that before I make a proper start. Right, here we go. Let's get back into it. I'm just going to work on this one layer. I'm using this dry clump brush. I've just got the settings as default. We've got auto clean switched on there. And um i suppose i could just sort of start sketching in the kind of the key parts of this painting it does feel a bit weird because so that you just do a stroke and then it it, it runs out but it's kind of very realistic looking So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to persevere with it. <laughs> Just sort of blocking in key key points. So I'm looking at the photo. I'm actually looking at the thumbnail um, right now to, to uh, getting in these key parts. Put the table in. You, 
you can't sort of scribble um, backwards and forwards. If, if you just keep sort of doing little strokes, then it works. This brush works fine. But I like the way it leaves this sort of dry edge on it. I think that looks really cool. So I've got this sort of basket thing going off in here. I'm just sort of not really um, putting any detail, just thinking where I'm going to. Hmm, that's wrong. It needs to be more central than that, actually. I'm thinking kind of about there. Try and get a nice skin tone. Wants to be a bit warmer. Looks a bit like cartoon like at the minute, but I will get there, I promise. So I just selected the, the background colour to sort of paint negative shapes around around the head. That needs to come out a little bit more. go let's get this sort of um, so if I'm not talking too much it's difficult to talk and paint I've said that a few times but I'm trying to do this um, live recording people seem to like that where it's in real time and I do the voiceover and then just speed bits up when I start um, painting sort of repetitive things and then slow it down again and talk through something that's a bit more um, that, that needs explaining, let's say. So I'm actually going to bat on now and get in a sort of a... a the first bit of the painting and then I'll come back to you straight after that. So I'm um, working on these flowers and I'm not worrying about detail at all. I'm just sort of blocking in bits of colour here and there. And then, and then I'm going to sort of refine these shapes as we go. So you can see it's sort of, as always, I'm working over the whole of the painting, building up to... Uh, the finished the finished product as it were so, sort of jumping here and there and I'm using this this sort of cerise pinky color and I'm just using the same color and then just changing the saturation on the color wheel to knock the color back a bit to make it a little bit lighter there
So it's not about detail. It's just about looking um, confident. And I found that a lot with my um, painting with oil paints that uh, initially, because I hadn't painted for so long, uh, some of the brush marks didn't look, they, they looked sort of laboured and I was really uh, trying hard. And I like it, I like everything to look like it's spontaneous and it's just sort of uh, flowing really. And that wasn't happening uh, well, it is now because I'm sort of getting back into it and it wasn't happening on here. Uh, so I kind of wanted to just tidy that up a little bit. I want some nice dark shadows on this bloke. Let's crash that in. I think a lot of time it is, it, you know, if, if you make your painting look like it's it's been painted with confidence it just looks so much better and, and i think that's what happens when you you know when you start to fiddle a lot and i do that a lot i sort of stay, i don't know when to start you start fiddling and putting brush strokes in and and it's at that point i think that things start to go a bit pear shaped. I'm going to zoom in. So now I'm starting to zoom in a bit because I want to uh, start looking at detail. I find I find the art rage photo quite um, difficult to manipulate. Though his chin comes a little bit below the collar, not much. We've got this really nice sort of very warm dark tone. I'm liking that. I think at this point I should save this. I haven't saved it once yet. So let's save the painting before my PC crashes. I'm going to do a little bit of work on these uh, flowers and things on the table. So we need some sort of greens. That's about right. Still got this dry. Let's get the dry clump brush set to default, and I'm away again.
for this painting i haven't used any blending uh, palette knives or anything this has all been done well apart from the roller at the beginning it's all been done with a dry clumps brush uh, so i quite like it i have to say I'm just sort of fiddling now putting in the final touches on these flowers so sort of squinting and looking at the shapes just to sort of get an idea of the shapes that make it I, I don't want detail I'm not I just want it to be very impressionistic but capture that light that's quite important as well I think we're getting there I think this is looking all right got these sort of darker little flowers just here I don't want to overdo it I suppose few more leaves You know, I think I may have finished this. Let's just zoom out to the old thing. I'm quite happy with how this is going. Oh, I've just remembered I haven't put these um what would we call it bunting i am going to um at the first time change the loading up put that up a little bit just so i can get this kind of string of the bunting in Right, I've done that. I'm going to take the loading back down again and just see uh, just squiggle something in there another one in there one here squiggle 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 and then one more just there I think also I'm just gonna do some whoops too much too strong a color i just want to sort of put some darks against lights so there's one last thing i want to do and that is that the highlights on the, the guy's trousers are too light um they, they would be in more shadow than that so i've selected a color and i'm just gonna darken them off a little bit maybe just tidy it up around there that's it yeah i think in 
that that is probably it now so all i need to do i think is just sign this thing and uh, it's finished so i'll select a nice dark blue make my brush quite small get it signed and i want to thank everybody for staying with me right to the very end um it's much appreciated and if you've enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up as always it helps me out a lot don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because i've got lots of videos like this and i, I wouldn't want you to miss any so hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye